Go with Dino. Hey, oh, someone's, yeah, fucking heckles. Oh, someone's had his cocaine in the break. Well, it mate. <laughs> fucking love that break. As you come back and everyone was silent in the first bit, and you come back and everyone was like, oh my God, I need to fucking talk now. Oh my God. You all right? We all good? You all right, cons? He has a little joint in the break. Look how calm he is. He hasn't had no fucking cocaine. He's had a fucking good joint, and he's just sat there going, this is going to be dead fucking funny, this. You all right, Big J? Oh, the spy's fucked off. Oh, my God, he blew his cover. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're still here going, oh, my God, I don't know where he is, and he was for fucking... He's got all my passport and my spare money. <laughs> you all right, Rich? Like, Hello, mate, were you there before? You were there before? He fucking wasn't, was he? I feel like you are Father Christmas and you just fucking came... <laughs> fucking scared the fuck out of me, like fucking Santa and Mary Claus. They just sat there going, you know what, I had a fucking night off, mate. Uh, didn't want to pay, I just fucking landed me sled on the top of the Echo Arena and I've come down, the fucking reindeer are freezing up there, but it's out. <laughs> you right there, mate? What's your name? Mike, nice to meet you, Mike. You all right? You enjoying the show, Mike? You will do. Did you not see the first bit? <laughs> so you were fucking lying to me before, weren't you, Mike? Oh, mate, I'm gonna have to fucking start again then, Mike. Fuck it. The second time you've missed the first part of the show. You wanna start getting fucking ready earlier, Mike? I'll catch you up, Mike. I don't want you fucking missing out. I'll let you know what's happened. This is Connor, he's a potter. This is Mrs. She's a bit of a fucking mad, isn't <laughs> He's minted, she uh, doesn't really like to speak very much. He was a spy, but he's fucked off. <laughs> oh, here he is! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and he's dead hard over there, but he's dressed like a fucking knobhead, so it's out. <laughs> she's got the whitest chains on in the world. You probably thought she was just standing in snow, but she's not. <laughs> her shoes. <laughs> oh, I'm in such a good mood. You in a good mood, Connor? Yes, bro. You coming out after this, getting smashed in there? Yeah, mate. We're going to get fucking mashed up, me and you, tonight. You know, we're going to have a fucking boss laugh, me and you. Have a fucking great time. What are you saying? I don't know what you're fucking saying. Did you say Cyclops? Can you come? Jack and Con. Connor said nah. Seemed like a bit of a fucking shouty cunt, to be honest. <laughs> Gonna fucking ruin the buzz later, innit? When we're fucking halfway through a joint, she's just like, Ah, that's my goal of a joint! I'm fucking hell, girl. I was fucking chilled then. Me and Connor were talking about fucking spaceships and that. We were having a fucking great laugh. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just happy to be here, you know. It's fucking sad. Fucking, like... You're coming now, are you? Whoever's, whoever's finger in here, fucking stop it. <laughs> Some fucking exhibition of shit, that in it, just fucking in the middle of the Echo Arena. I'm coming! I'm coming! Go ahead, girl, you fucking come. You come right now. Go on, tell them all, tell them all, you filthy little slap. You know? <laughs> ah, mate, just happy to be here. Fucking good. Couldn't get away with this shit. You can't. I just. It's just fucking boss doing this shit, isn't it? Just getting up on stage talking shit. You can't do this in the fucking house. <laughs> like all oh, useless fucking what? There's like thousands and thousands of people here who all think I'm dead funny. That's fucking boss, that. Like I go on with me, and my bear's like, you're not funny. Fuck off. <laughs> my fucking kids ain't me. <laughs> it's a fucking different world, mate. I'm getting married in January, Connie. You know. Yeah. I mean, cheer all you want. I'm thinking about fucking it off. Uh, She's doing my fucking head in. Like, she's fucking winding me up, mate. She's fucking really pissing me off, mate. Like, I, I love her and that, but... Like, you've been together, what, was it two and a half years? Two and a bit years? You've been together, not getting married or nothing? Too young? All right, mate, fucking she doesn't look like she agrees, but okay. She's looking at you going, okay, why am I too young to be fucking happy? Whatever. <laughs> don't do it, mate. You fucking just stay... I'm not, I'm not saying fuck you off or nothing, do you know what I mean? But well, fuck it off and I'll fuck my beard off. They'll just be fucking, they'll just be fucking best mates. We'll go out and have a fucking lap. It's the fucking, you know what? You seem like a nice lad. I know you don't speak, I know you don't live together. You live together. 
we've got all that little gaff together. If it, like, you seem like a fucking state, you seem like a state up guy, you do all this shit, right? You know all that. Do you ever fuck up, right? And like, fuck, yeah, Santa Claus, you don't fucking know about this, right? <laughs> You've had a fucking long innings with Mary, do you know what I mean? You know what fucking, you know what the script is, you know, like, you, you, you're around the house all the time, you only work one night a year, do you know what I mean? Fucking. <laughs> You're in the house all the time, you get bored, you start winding it up because you've got fuck all else to do. That means, you know what I mean? Start leaving fucking mince pie fucking trays everywhere and that. <laughs> you ever fucked up, right? Because you're a fella and you probably do. You ever, have you ever, do you ever, like, mess up a little bit or you piss her off and she doesn't speak to you for a little bit? All the time, see, it's fucking. How long have you two been together for? 20 fucking years. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> about 10% about of the audience gave a fuck about that. The rest of you go, don't give a fuck. Call him Father Christmas again. That was funny, that. <laughs> if they only ask because, right? What's the long, like in 20 years, you, I've, been only, I've been with my missus for, for nearly eight years now, right? What, what? Oh, 30, sorry, mate. 30 years. See that word? That no one gives a fuck about 20. We go to 30, everyone's like, fucking hell, mate, he must be fucked him. <laughs> what's the longest, like, what's the longest she's never, like, she hasn't spoke to you for, like, in a single, like, in a single uh, sitting? About 10 minutes? You thrusted forward as you said that then? He went, about 10 minutes. <laughs> as if to go, as soon as she stops, I just whip the dick out. <laughs> Say, come on, Rudolph wants a carrot. <laughs> I only ask because, right, Chris, can I call you Chris? <laughs> I only ask because I'm in a bit of a pickle at the minute. My missus hasn't spoke to me for 26 days, right? And, uh, it's fucking bad, that, isn't it? Like, it's bad. Like, I've never done that long before. I've done about three or four days before, and, like, I, I, I'm in that situation. I flap. I'm bad at it, you know what I mean? I start apologising. Like, I'm a bit of a pussy, do you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, fucking hell. Shit. Please, please. I'm so sorry, babe. But, mate, have you ever done 26 days before? You know what? After about five days, I fucking broke through a wall, and I was like, she was fucking off to bed at, like, eight o'clock, fuming. I was thinking, this is fucking soundish, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an ass. Like you're trying to, you have to keep acting like you're ass, but you're not fucking ass. You just think, fuck. I'll, I'll just play on my PlayStation. Have a wank, me. I don't give a fuck. I'm fucking better at it than she is anyway. Connor, I am fucking sick of giving me a wank. You know, I am fucking fire at it. I'm so good. No girl in here can give me a wank as good as I can give me a wank. I'm not ass. No, there's not. No, no girls. Girls can't give fellas a wank. I'm gonna fucking put that out there, right? Like every, like, look at you sitting there, you stopped laughing then, didn't you, you little nubbin? Because you sat there and go, no, you can't, babe, you're that good at it, yeah. You know you've been there and she's been giving you the wank and you're like, oh, and you come and you go, and she just carries on going, you're like, ah, oh, fuck! You fucking ruined that! <laughs> fucking start again. <laughs> Put it in your mouth this time, fuck sake. <laughs> And I'll be honest with you, mate, Connor, I'm going to be honest with you, right, because you know, I feel like we can be mates in that. I fucked up, mate, I fucked up bad, I did something bad, you know what I mean? But I've put my hands up now, and I've said, and I've said, I've apologised, and we're at a crossroads now, where it is, she can forgive me, and we'll move on with our lives, and we'll get married in January, and it'll be fucking lovely, or she can not forgive me, and fuck off. <laughs> and I'll be honest, mate, I'll never see those kids again, I don't give a fuck. Don't get me wrong, Connor, I love my kids and that. I'm a stay-at-home dad, I love them, but I just can't handle the fucking atmosphere anymore, and I don't feel like I fucking deserve it, mate, because I let shit go all the time. Like, I'm a fucking laid-back guy. You're gonna fucking love this, bitch. <laughs> get on this, right? It's, I just, she's pissing me off, right? Like, as I said, I'm a laid-back guy. I, I let shit go all the time. She hasn't spoke to me for 26 days. I don't think that's fair, because, like, well, like, what did you get in for Christmas last year? Don't tell her. <laughs> what did you get him? Shoes, them shoes. No, different shoes. Don't wear those shoes. Yeah. Shit shoes, ain't they? 
I only ask because, right? Me, there's one thing you're gonna know about me, and he'll fucking know this about me because he fucking knows me well. That's why he's here tonight. Is that I fucking love Christmas, me. I love it. I love everything about it. Like, you just feel the silence in the room. Everyone's like, why is he talking about Christmas? It's fucking November. I don't give a fuck. I've been eating mince pies since fucking June, mate. Yes! Christmas is the fucking most wonderful time of the year. It's fucking great. I love everything about it. I love the songs. I love the films. I love the decorations. I love the music. I love the food. I've got two little kiddies. It's just a magical time. And the only thing I wanted for Christmas last year was an iPad, right? And I know that's expensive. They're like 700 quid, but... I don't think it's too much to ask because she's fucking buying him with my money anyway. <laughs> but because, because I was buying, because, because all I was, <laughs> I'm so fucking angry thinking about this. Because I love Christmas so much, I didn't want to just ask her for an iPad. Because you can't just ask, if you ask for it, it fucking ruins the magic, doesn't it? It just ruins it. You gotta go, hey babe, get me an iPad. So I'm just dropping little subtle hints on it. You know, like fucking, like if you're walking through town, there's a little apple shop in town, isn't it? Like a little apple in Liverpool. And you walk through, and you go, hey babe, come and play on the iPad. You've got an iPad, can I? Yeah, they're fucking sick, aren't they? Like, I'd fucking love it, mate. You give that to me, and I'll be fucking mates. For... You got the little pencil with it? Oh, mate, have you seen the pencil? Fucking, mate, if you, haven't, if you haven't seen them, you get the iPad now, right? But you can get a little pencil with it and you can fucking draw on the iPad. Like, does that not fucking draw, does that not blow all your fucking minds? Like the little apple, imagine that on Christmas morning, you wake up bright and early, you fucking love this, right? You, you whack your brand new fucking pajamas on. You put your Rudolph slippers on, you get a fresh chocolate orange, smash that open on the floor. Lie down on the floor, feet up, do some colouring in. Fucking best day ever, mate. I'd be fucking five Spider-Mans in before I got bored of that shit. And I'm just dropping little hints. I'm dropping hints all over the place. Like, as I said, going in the Apple shop, I'm leaving catalogues open on iPads. I'm thinking, oh, she's got the hint now. And I fucking, I'm made up then. I'm giddy. I'm thinking, I'm getting a fucking iPad for Christmas. I'm so excited about it. But then I panic because now I've got to get her something that's as good as an iPad. And I flat them because she's fucking boring and she's dead hard to buy for, right? She is, and I was asking all the family, what can I get it? What can I get it? That's as good as an iPad. Like, I don't know. She said that to buy from like a fucking no. Because normally I'll just get a little smellies and like chocolates and things like that. But you can't turn up with fucking two Pandora charms and a fucking Toblerone if she's got you a fucking iPad, you know what I mean? Gonna look fucking stupid on Christmas Day. So I'm panicking about it for weeks and I'm thinking, what the fuck am I gonna get it here? What the fuck am I gonna get it? Then it struck me at a moment of genius, kind of. The only thing you can get someone that is getting you an iPad that's as good as an iPad is a fucking iPad, mate. <laughs> And that was, I, I, it hit me like a master stroke. I was like, oh, and I ran into town and I went to the Apple shop and I got the best iPad you could get and I got the little pencil with it, I got the keyboard with it and I took it home, right? And I wrapped it up and I was like, oh, and I, was just, I got all giddy and I got excited. So I put that in a box and I wrapped that up, right? And I put that in a bigger box and I wrapped that up. And I put that in a bigger box and I wrapped that up. And I put that in a fucking bigger box and I wrapped that up because I fucking love Christmas! And I put it under the tree, mate, and I was just giddy. I was just looking at it for three weeks, just thinking, oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> Christmas morning comes round, kids run in, he's been, he's been, you'd been, it was mad. <laughs> <laughs> he's been, he's been. <laughs> and she runs in, and I was like, yeah, babe, open your friends. She was like, hang on, let the kid. I was like, you two, sit on the couch. Let mummy open her present, don't be so selfish. <laughs> yeah, babe, open your present, mum. She was like, oh, okay. She starts ripping the paper off, right? She gets to a blank box, she's like, what's this? Opens the blank box, there's another, there's another present inside. And she's like, oh, mind blown. She's like, what's, what's going on here? This is, you're so stupid, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> she opens that one, another box inside, another present. She's like, what the fuck, what's going on? Babe opens that one, another present, another box inside. She's like, babe, there's paper everywhere. And I was like, just fucking open it, you miserable bitch. <laughs> opens that one, another box, opens that one, iPad. She was like, oh, you haven't. I was like, I have. She was like, oh my God, babe, these are so good. And I was like, I know. <laughs> she was like, oh, I'll go and get yours. I was like, yes, please. <laughs> she goes to the cupboard, right? She pulls a fucking big box out and I was like, oh, We've done the same thing. 
the box inside the box inside the box trick. And I felt bad then because I thought, fucking hell, I've done, uh, she's been looking forward to that. Like, I've been looking forward to it, thinking she was going to get me. And I've ruined it now. And I thought, I'm going to what? I'm going to play along with it because I know you've been excited. I've never been more in love with me fucking life. I looked at her like, oh. like we were like little Christmas elves at the same time. Like, we love Christmas, we love Christmas. <laughs> Fucking phenomenal, mate. I was like, I love you so much. I know what you've done. I'm not going to ruin it. We'll just play it along. We'll go the whole thing. We'll do the whole thing. And then I start ripping it off. It was a fucking box of pans, kind of. <laughs> and I won't lie, I fucking laughed at first, mate. I laughed heartily because I thought <laughs> you took, I thought she took the whole box inside the box inside the box game to a whole new fucking level there eh? I thought what she's done here is she's got a fucking a, a pans box like a, a pan and took the pans out and put a fucking like because no one gets them in a fucking box <laughs> it's a fucking good one that I opened now nah, there was fucking pans inside the box mate and I couldn't even hide my disappointment I was just looking at it going What the fuck is that? She went, what, went, what the fuck is that? Why the fuck have I got pans for Christmas? Why the fuck have I got pans and you've got a fucking iPad for Christmas? What the fuck's going on there? She was like, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I, they, they, they got pans them, I resaved them. I was like, resaved them? I don't give a fuck if you fucking made them, mate. Why the fuck have I got pans for Christmas? She was like, I, 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 I don't know, I thought you'd like them. You needed new pans. I was like, <gasps> no, we needed new pans. Pans are fucking household items, mate. Are you not going to eat anymore, you fat bitch? <laughs> she fucking will, Connor. Oh, mate, I'm fucking, I started to even think about it. She got me pans, right? She got me pans and a set of knives, and... I mean, they were good pans and they were good knives, don't get me wrong, but you can't get excited about that shit on Christmas Day. You can't be like, I was like, fucking, she's like, don't be like that, you're ruining the fucking, and the kids were crying on the couch and that. <laughs> I was like, shut the fuck up, you two. <laughs> Take your fucking Paw Patrol off and then give you the fucking pants to play with, eh? You fucking like it. She was like, don't be like that, you're ruining the day. Just have a look at your knives, you like knives? So I thought, oh yeah, fucking knives, yeah, let's have a look at oh, oh, a fucking pair of knife. Oh, well, it's a fucking peel of spud, shall I? Fucking boss. <laughs> oh, look, you got a chef's knife. Oh, a chef's knife. Oh, fucking download the app to me knife, shall I? Let's go. Hey, kids, come in the kitchen with Dad. We'll throw some tangerines up, play Fruit Ninja. Way! <laughs> fucking rat. She got me one of them steel rod sharpener things with it. I've, ne I've never had one of them before. I was like, she was like, oh, I was like, oh yeah. She's like downloading a fucking, she's installing the iPad and I'm like dragged it along and it makes that noise, doesn't it? And she's like, oh, oh, that's a horrible noise, that. Oh, that, oh, it's gone right through me, that. I was like, has it, yeah? <laughs> Sharpen this knife all day, making like a fucking lightsaber. <laughs> Cut your iPad in half, you stupid cunt. And I forgave her for that, Connor. You know, I'm fucking, you know what? I was pissed off, mate. I was as angry as I could be, but I, 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 I was pissed off for half an hour, and then I let it go, and I went in the kitchen, and I cooked Christmas dinner with me presents, and it was sound. <laughs> but she's, not, she's still not talking to me after 26 days, mate. It takes the fucking piss, you know? She doesn't know what I fucking go through, mate. She's, she's asking for a fucking clue. I, I've, I, I've got the kids in the day. I've, I've got two of them. I've got a five-year-old and a two-year-old, and I'm a stay-at-home dad. And she does. She comes home a fucking half hour from work, and she's like, "Oh, you haven't done the dishes." And I'm like, "Fuck off, you fucking snake!" <laughs> you haven't got a fucking clue what I've been up to all day. You haven't got a fucking clue what I go through. Honestly, like, it was half. It was half term a couple of weeks ago, and I, I'm, honestly, by the end of it, I was ready to volley one of them cunts through a fucking window, mate. <laughs> I can't fucking handle them. I can't take them anymore. You know what? I'll be fair. The five-year-old 
I can, I'm, I'm starting to get on board with him. We've, we've developed like a system where like we've got used to each other now, and it's like fucking prison in the house. I don't fuck with him. He doesn't fuck with me. He stays on his side of the house, and I just fucking throw him some toast every now and again. But the fucking two-year-old mate, he's a fucking psychopath. He's a genuine sociopath, mate. He knows how to fucking. I, 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 I can't, I just don't know what to do. Like, get on this, my daily routine is this, and this is what I do every single fucking weekday. I'll drop him off, I, I've done it today. I'll drop him off at nursery, right? I'll drop him off at nursery at half eight, and, and I've got to take the other one to school at nine, and I've got to go back, and I've got to pick him up at 11 o'clock. And every single fucking day, right? He bounces out, he bounces out of this nursery like he's had the fucking most wonderful time of his life, just like, ah! Just fucking arms full of shit, Peyton. It's just like, Fucking macaroni and glitter everywhere. <laughs> just so happy though, just like, ah! until he sees me and he just goes, <laughs> Where's mum? <laughs> every day though, and I'm like, mate, she's in work like she is every single day, and he goes, Well, I don't like you. Mate, that shit cuts you fucking deep. I, I do this for a living. I consider myself quite thick skinned, but fuck me, la. You find yourself in a two year old's playground just going, Well, I don't fucking like you either, mate! <laughs> <laughs> fucking pains of shit! <laughs> Doesn't even fucking look like a rabbit, you little tit. <laughs> ah, fucking God. He's killing me, mate. He's killing me. He's gonna murder me in my sleep. I can see it. He's got like he's got fucking murder in his eyes. He's gone hundred percent. I'm gonna wake up one day and he's, I'm just gonna look up and he's gonna fucking stab me with one of my own knives. <laughs> it's off his fucking head, mate. Like, you know what I think the problem is? I'm not a violent man in any way, shape, or form. I'm not, and I don't advocate hitting kids. I don't believe you should hit your kids. But saying that, I do want to fucking give him one. Like, I just want to give him one fucking good, like, fucking, as he turns around, I don't have... BANG! <laughs> Who don't you like? <laughs> and I don't want to do it to hurt him. It's not to hurt him. Because what I think, my theory on this is that the fucking... There's something gone wrong, there's something broken down in the father-son chain, like some kind of alpha brain, fucking tribal part of our ape brain. That he knows I've got no fucking physical power over him now, so he just looks at me as if to go, well, this is all fucking clearly mine, isn't it? Like, I'll get home from, I, I, I do this six nights a week, right, and I get home, best case scenario, I get home from work, I was half twelve, one o'clock in the morning, right, and I go in my house, and I walk up the stairs, and I go into my bedroom, I'm fucking tired, and he's got his own bedroom, he's got his own bed, he's got his own bed, that he made me spend a fucking fortune on an Ikea, because he wanted the fucking jungle bed. <laughs> but will he be in the jungle bed? No. Will he fuck he will be where I'm supposed to be slept, in my bed, that I paid fucking 1,500 fucking pounds for? Next to my missus, just fucking sideways, though, just. <laughs> and you try and move him, you try and move him, you're like, fucking. You're like, oh, oh, and he just, he's just like, oh, oh. 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 Da da daddy, I, I, I don't want to get in the jungle bell. I, 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 just, I just want to stay in the big bed. I, 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 I'm just a little bit sweepy. Like he's great because he can't say his fucking L's properly. <laughs> and I'm just looking at him going, because his, his mouth saying those dead cute things, but his fucking face isn't. His face is just looking at me going, <laughs> <laughs> try and move me now, see what she does to you. And he's fucking right as well. He's just looking at me going, get in the jungle bed. <laughs> fucking me, a 36 year old man, caught the fucking, with a fucking canopy over me. Oh, monkeys. <laughs> fucking, I can't beat him. I, I, I can't, I literally, I just, I've got nothing. Like, he knows I've got nothing. Like, he bounces around the house. Like, he's trying to fucking kill me, dog. He's literally trying, I've got a puppy and he's trying to fucking kill it. Like, you, if you came to my house this hour, no, he's a psycho. If you came to my house, you think he's the cutest kid in the world because he's just bouncing around, he's playing with the puppy. Oh, there you go. Give it a cuddles and then you're like, oh, it's so cute. And then as soon as you leave, he starts trying to pull the ears off the dog. Drags it across the room by a tail. He makes it sit and then goes. So as, and she moves every time because he's shitting it, but then I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, you nutter? 
I swear to God, every uh, one day I'm gonna walk in the house and he's just gonna be stood in the living room just with the dog's head in his hand, just like <laughs> just covered in blood, just like <laughs> she was a little bit sweepy. <laughs> crazy, me. All I've got, the, the, you know, I can't hit them, and all you got. All you got, if you can't hit your kids, all you got's the fucking naughty step. That's it. And I don't know if anyone it feels the same way as me about the naughty step. I thought I was doing the fucking wrong at first, but I'm fucking not, mate. I've watched enough super. My, I've watched enough super nannies to know my technique is fucking flawless, mate. Get on this. I get low. I employ a firm tone. <laughs> Alexander, listen to daddy. Listen to daddy. Stop that now. You do that again, you're going to go on the step. Do you want to go on the step? And he'll just go, yeah. <laughs> just front it out. And no super nanny tells you how to fucking deal with that, because that never happens to fucking super nanny. You're just looking at it going, oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh. Because you can't do, you can't do nothing with that. You can't say, no, you're not going on the step, because that just fucking devalues the step. So you've got to let him go on the step. Anybody wants to go on the step, you've got to go out there with him watching the leg time, and you stood there thinking, I've put myself on the fucking naughty step, haven't I? How the fuck has this happened? I was watching the chase a minute ago. <laughs> fucking little bastard, watching it, waiting for it to go to the bottom, waiting for it to count down to two minutes, and he turned over, you ready to say sorry, and he's just like, nope. <laughs> end up doing that seven times, end up apologising to him, giving him some chocolate buttons. <laughs> just so I can go back in the fucking living room. It's fucking ruined my life. The thing is, like, the worst thing about it is, as I said, me and my missus being together, like, eight years nearly, right? And, because he's in the bed all the time, like, you won't fucking, you don't even realise it. Like, you've been together a few years, you've got no kiddies, you're fucking, like, you're just shagging all the time, you know what I mean? Kind of just fucking having a lovely time, just banging away, just fucking out. Like, so, you, as you should be, mate, just fucking out. But you don't, the problem, I haven't got a problem with the fact that you do it. I've got a problem with the fact that you don't fucking value it, mate. You have, you have no idea of how valuable it is because you think it's never going to go away. And it fucking goes away, mate! <laughs> know what the worst bit is? Like, you'll go out tonight and you'll have a boss time, you'll have a lovely time, you come here, you have a great time, you go out for some drinks, you do some drink, um, some cocktails, you get all frisky and that, you start shagging later. The best thing is, though, that's not even the best thing. The best thing is, you know, tomorrow morning when you wake up and you've got the hangover and that, and you fucking, you just wake up and you're like, oh, and you're both there, just like, oh, sweaty and then you're like, oh. And you just go, ooh, ooh, and you start doing that lazy fucking hangover lying on your side, I'll leave a move and not even your eyes open, shagging, just like, oh. oh. Oh, mate, that's the stuff of fucking dreams, that shit. I can't even remember that shit anymore. That's fucking phenomenal stuff. And have you, I've told you how valuable that is now, and even now, you won't even, you won't take my words in, because tomorrow morning, I guarantee you'll be doing that tomorrow morning. You'll be like, ah, and then your head, you'll be thinking, I need to stop now, McDonald's breakfast stops at half ten. Because <laughs> you know, as soon as you finish your Ash Brown, you start shagging again. You've got no responsibilities, mate. I do not have that luxury. Like, is, is, is where I am right now, right? And it's horrible, right? The baby stays out on a Monday night. It's one night a week, right? It's one night a week. He goes out on a Monday night, and that's our window of opportunity to have sex, and that's too much fucking pressure for a shag. It's too much. You can't cope with it. Like, it's fucking... Like, I'll, I'll tell you, like, here's how bad it is, right? I'm in the Echo Arena. Biggest gig of my life. Fucking phenomenal. Thousands of people here. I should be 100% focused, right? And I'm about 98% with you. Thank you very much. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling in the room, but as I said, I'm about 98% with you because there's always a little 2% of my brain that just keeps flashing up every so, and every, every so often, just, just keeps going, oh my God, I've got a shag here in 72 hours. <laughs> <sighs> like it turns my stomach and then I'm like, oh my God. And it's not that I don't want to do it, I, I love it and that. It's not like I don't like, it, it's, just, it's just too much pressure. It's too, because you can't enjoy yourself because you've got to take him to his nans and you've got to get the other one in bed and you've got to, you've got to make a meal because you've got to pretend there's a date or something. So you, you do some steaks in your pans and that. And you start trying to have a conversation, but you've got fuck all to talk about really. So you, you, you try not to talk about the kids, but that's all you've got in common these days. You're like, oh. So then you go in the living room and watch fucking Holmes under the hammer. <laughs> so that's all you can both get excited about these days. 
And then you go upstairs, mate, and she goes, she go upstairs and she goes in the bathroom to get herself ready. And mate, every single Monday I find myself just fucking stood there, just fucking, it's in the bedroom, just looking at myself in the mirror, just fucking sweating, just like, ugh. Just trying to fucking psych myself up, just going, come on, mate, you can fucking do this, come on. Just fucking slap it, just, just fucking hood up like Eminem in 8 Mile. Just fucking slapping me, Willie, just going, come on, come on, you little prick. This is your one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. Come on. <laughs> and, she co- <laughs> and she comes in and you do it and it's fine. But you, as I said, you can't get into it. Because you, you, you're in your head too much. You're thinking, is she enjoying it? Am I enjoying it? Do, do I come now? If I come now, it's next Monday. <laughs> too much pressure on an ejaculation, that means. And t- I, you know what, I'm gonna, I'll be honest with you, right? I slag my missus off a lot on stage, right? And I'm gonna say something now, which is a lot of women in here are gonna go, you know what, that's too fucking far, that. <laughs> but before you judge me on it, if she was here, she would openly admit this. She would say, she's very open about it. She would say this herself, right? My missus is what we call in Liverpool, a fucking fridge, right? <laughs> a lot of people know what that means. Some people, if you're not laughing at that, it doesn't mean like she's the size of a fridge or nothing. It just means that she's frigid, like she's a bit bored in bed, she doesn't like nothing good, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, you know when you're getting into it and you're like, you're getting into your rhythm and that, and she's just like, oh, and you're like, oh, and you start getting a bit carried away with yourself, and you start fucking choking on a spit. <laughs> you fucking dirty little slag, you fucking love that, don't you? You fucking take it, take that right now, you horrible little bitch. You fucking, oh, you fucking. She's like, oh, fucking, fucking, get off me! <laughs> and as she's saying that, I'm like, that's not the fucking safe word, is it? <laughs> fucking take that dip, take that dip. She's like, fuck, I'm fucking, fucking, abracadabra! <laughs> so that's the key, mate. You're gonna have a safe word, make it something dead hard to say. She's halfway through, like, super gallifrey, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up right now, you fucking dirty little bitch, call me daddy right now, you fucking little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I know you say this because, I've got to be fair to her, because recently, like a couple of months back, this totally out of character, this, she tried to spice our Monday nights up, she went out of her way to spice our Monday nights up. And I didn't see this coming because I said it's out to carry that what she did was, she went on that lovehoney.com because I tell you, like she doesn't like none of that good stuff. What she likes before sex, she likes a massage before sex. And yeah, if you're a woman who likes a massage before sex, you need to fuck off because <laughs> you're a knobhead. <laughs> like every man in here is like, oh yeah, it's the fucking worst. You can't stay engaged in that shit. I don't give a fuck if you're a fucking professional masseuse, you can't, you, like, you, st- you get into it about 60 seconds, you start working the shoulders, you have good intentions, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna, this is gonna be boss, this, uh, and about 60 seconds in, I just find myself just fucking one hand in it, just like, it's like a dead confident bus driver, just like, Ugh. 60 seconds after that, I'm four arm in it. 60 seconds after that, I'm four arm in it and trying to give myself a wang. <laughs> Just to fucking stay engaged. So as I said, to be fair to her, she went on at lovefunny.com and she got us a, box, a little box of goodies to spice our Monday nights up. And what she got was this, right? She got a few things in the box. The first thing, as I said, she loves a massage before sex. So what? And she knows I don't like doing it. So, good on her. She got this little gadget, right? It's like a big ball. And as you grab it, it lights up blue, right? And it's got three little balls on the bottom of it. It's like a massage. So, you know, as you grab it, it comes on and it goes, it pulses. It goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Boss, right? It's got like pleasure oil with it. She lies down, you get it there, and you're like, oh. And she's like, ooh. Oh. She's like, oh. Oh, babe. Mm. She's 
it's like, oh, fuck me. Oh. <laughs> she liked that. So she got that for it. Oh, mate, get on. You'll have, Chris, you're gonna have one of these, aren't you? You ever had the willy ring? Like a, you ever had the willy ring? You had the willy ring? You had the willy ring, Connor? You got one? Yes, big man, fucking sound, aren't they? Like, mate, I was, I you know what, I was skeptical at first. When I got out the box, I'm like, what the fuck, sorry, I don't need that. I don't know if you got the same model as me, lad. But if, if you haven't got one, ask Chris to bring you one for Grimbo, because the fucking sound. I, I'll explain them, you look like a little Harry Bow jelly, right? A lot bigger, obviously, I've got a massive bully, shut the fuck up. Like a massive Harry Bow jelly, bro. <laughs> it's like a little, a little, my, mine was like a little black rubber ring, it's got a little capsule on top, do you get that one? A little capsule on, you click it, and it goes, Bzzz. yeah! Mate, have you ever put it on upside down? <laughs> Mate, it's a fucking game changer, that it is! Woo! Fucking cheese in the bathroom, I got out, I was like, put it on upside down, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stay in there, girl, I will see you next Monday, mate. <laughs> oh. What else did we get? We got this, um, oh, what was it? It was pl a pleasure balm, it was, right? It looked like a little tin of lip balm, but it was pleasure balm, right? And it looks like, like it's got a little heart-shaped tin, and it's got like, eucalyptus in it and stuff, so you're meant to get a little dot of it and put it on the clitoris, it's supposed to heighten the orgasm. But, as I said, she's in the bathroom, I'm unpacking this stuff, and I'm a fucking idiot, and I was like, I'm gonna have to have a go, aren't I? Beep, beep, beep. That was a fucking mistake, that means. Oh, it was like me cocking at the polo, it was fucking awful, I was like, She came in, and you know what? We did it. it was, you know what? It was one of the best nights we've had in a long time. It was incredible. You know what? I think that we, we, we just got into a, a rut, into a routine, and this just broke the routine. It was playful again. It was fun. We, just, we had fun with each other. We got proper carried away. We had a fucking great night. Thing is, though, right, as I said, the baby's out, but my eldest, he's still in the house. I've still got to get up in the morning and do the school run, right? And the thing you need to know about my eldest for the story to move on is that his name is George and he's five, and he's non-verbal autistic, right? So, my morning routine is this, right? It's just a very strict routine. I get up at six o'clock in the morning, and I, 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 he's got like a, I say non-verbal, he can, he can babble, he can go da 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 and stuff like that. So, uh, he, he wakes up, and he's got a safety gate on his door, and he goes to his gate, and he goes da 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 and I walk out, and I open his gate, and he gives me a big cuddle, and then we walk down the stairs, and he goes and sits on a, on a spot on the couch where he sits every day, and I make him some toast. And if you do that, he's the happiest boy in the world. But if you fuck with that, he's, he gets very fucking upset with you. <laughs> very upset, right? And I'm regimented with it. I never, ever get it wrong until this one morning. It's the first time I've ever fucked her up because the night I got away from us, I just forgot to set my alarm and I woke up to the sound of him screaming and I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. I jumped out, but as I said, it, it, the night I got away from us and it got a bit messy, do you know what I mean? Like, it was, it, it, like my pubes were matted and stuff. <laughs> I had to fucking peel myself off the bed. I was like, oh, fuck. And I jumped up. I said, he's in full meltdown. And I run through and I open his gate and he runs past me. And I couldn't grab him because I was crusty as fuck. Do you know what I mean? Can't start grabbing a five-year-old like that. So I to chase him into our room and he runs in and he's in full and he's, he's hitting stuff. He, she's like, what's happened here? I'm like, I forgot to get it with George. And she's like, fucking hell, babe. I'm like, I know, I'm so sorry. And as he's hitting stuff, think about George, he's got sensory issues, he's got sensory needs. So as he starts hitting things in meltdown, he managed, he just happens to hit this massage. So as I said, as you hit the top of it, it lights up blue and it comes on. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's just a fucking phenomenal sensory toy, right? So as he hits it, it comes on, it starts pulsing, he picks it up, puts it on himself. Whoa, 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 whoa. And it just calmed him down immediately. And I was just stood there going, 
Oh. And she's looking at me going, get that off him right now. And I was like, you fucking bought it? She's like, get it off him right now. And I was like, fuck's sake. George. Georgie, come on, mate. That, that's mummy and daddy's toy. Come on. Come on, mate. It's mummy and daddy's toy. And I'm edging towards him. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, come on, mate. Come on, mate. And he's like, whoa, whoa. And I got about, I was just, I, you have to be slow. He's like a fucking gazelle, right? I got about this far away from him. I went to grab it and he just went, ah! And I was like, yeah, that's his now, that. <laughs> Fucking took it to school, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he I couldn't do nothing about it. I couldn't get it off him. And he's, he's just, I don't, he, he just, it's, oh, it was bad, you know. He took it to school, right? And he went into the school and he started chasing all the other beautiful little autistic kids around the playground with it. Just like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then they're like, ah! <laughs> just stood there watching it, thinking, oh my God. <sighs> I haven't even had the chance to watch that. There was fanny batter all over it. <laughs> and she blamed me for that, but I think that was her fault. You know what? I fucking forgave it. I've never brought her up once since. I never fucking talk about that shit. She doesn't fucking talk to me after 26 days. Fucking cheeky bitch. I don't deserve it, mate. I really don't. I'm a nice fella, mate, you know. I'm a fucking sound fella. Like, get on this for her birthday this year, right? What I did for the... I, I boss, boss me, you know, because as I said, she loves a massage and all that. I organised... She went to uni in Cambridge, right? So I organised a little trip down to Cambridge where she was going to go, right? We are going to spend the Monday there in, like, a boss spa hotel, get all massages and that together, like, couples, lovely stuff and all that, and then go and have a spa, go and have a posh meal, had a full suite, champagne and all that stuff. It was going to be fucking phenomenal, right? She was dead happy with that. And then, but... I, I didn't know her back in uni, what I did the, 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 for the next day, I tracked all her old uni friends down on Facebook, right, and I organised a big reunion party so she could go back and meet them all again, it was going to be fucking phenomenal, she was over the moon, I organised childcare, perfect, they're good, right, then about a week before, her mum was supposed to have the kids, she had a little bit of arthritis, nothing too serious, but it flared up and she was like, I don't think I can have George, and I was like, she was gutted, right, she was like, we can't go, and I was like, listen babe, already paid for it, you go, take your cousin, have a lovely time, have the massages, go and meet all your mates, you'll have, a, you'll have a boss party, I'll stay here, I'll look after the kids, because I'm a dead nice fella. Thank you. Thanks, guys. And she did, she went, and she had an amazing time, uh, and then she came back, and she felt a little bit guilty, because I had missed out on this lovely trip, so... In order to make it up to me, she got me two days in the Lake District just fucking on me own. <laughs> Which, I mean, fucking pans is bad, but that's fucking up there, isn't it? Like, what the fuck are you... Like, I was just looking at her and she was like, you love that, won't you? And I was like, oh, what, the, what the fuck am I going to do by Lake Windermere on me own for two days? So I had to go, mate, I had to go. I, I, I had to drive up to Lake Windermere like a fucking knob. Just, I mean, I ate, I ate all that shit. I got in there, right? And it was a lovely hotel, but that just fucking made it worse because it was like, it was exactly what I'd got here. It was like a boss couple's retreat, like a spa hotel. But I'm on my fucking own, and she got out of Groupon as well because she's fucking tight, right? <laughs> so all these fucking couples are queuing up because there was a fucking special offer on. So we get in there, there's like 10 couples in front of me, and I'm fucking stood there, and they're all like in front of me, going, oh, this is going to be so nice, baby, isn't it? all in love and kissing each other because they're away and I'm just fucking stood behind them just thinking this is going to be fucking shit this this is going to be fucking shit I'm going to spend the next two days listening to these shag through the fucking walls this is going to be fucking awful just to me me a big fat ginger nobody eating fucking water to me undies just fucking can't even watch fucking Netflix because I haven't got a fucking iPad
I was fuming because I, I like, I, I'm friendly, me. I quite like talking to people, but there was nobody there to start a conversation with because they're all in couples. You can't start muscling in on a couple's romantic getaway. You can't start splitting in the middle and go, oh, 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 you look like a fucking prick. So the only person in there that wasn't coupled up was the woman on the check-in. Her name was Brenda. And to be fair, she was being dead friendly. She was like having banter with all the couples who were signing, telling them about all the activities, couples' walks, couples' massages. I don't know what the fuck a couple's walk is, by the way. You have to hold hands all the way through it or something. I don't know. She's, t- she's having a lovely banter though, and I just thought, you know what? At least I'll get to talk to Brenda for a bit. I'll have a little bit of banter, break the day up a little bit. She waits me turn in the queue, gets there. And as I got there, she had this smiley demeanor. She was like, and as soon as she saw me, she just went, like, it just changed, and she was, like, looking behind the desk like something was missing, and I was like, like, she'd never seen a person on their own before. And I was like, oh, yeah, and she went, are you travelling alone? And I went, yeah, and she went, oh, and she just slid the key across the desk to me. And I was like, oh, and I turned around, and all these couples are just looking at me, and that was that, that point I realised what it was. Every couple in here has been going out, going out with each other for a long time. Anything, you know, like a, anything above like five, six years will know. What will happen is you, you've run out of shit to talk about. Like you can't. Like if you go out on a date or you go out away together, you can't. Like you can't be going, "Hey, this happened today," because she'd be like, "I know, I was fucking neighbour." So you've got fuck all, really, to talk about. So what happens is you run out of shit. You run out of new information in about three minutes, and then you've got, you just sat there on this date or in this meal or whatever you are, and you're just left to go, oh, my God, get on them over there. And you start people watching. You start looking at that in our bed. Oh, my God, why is she with him? Oh, my God, I bet you he's a fucking spy. But they look like Father Christmas, don't they? <laughs> That's what you fucking do. And it's a natural thing to do because what's happened is you know you're in our bed, and she knows she's in our bed, and she knows you're in our bed, and you know she's in our bed. But you've picked each other now, so now all you can do is try and prove that everyone around you is more of a knobhead than you. <laughs> Just to validate your life decisions. Yes, and I think it's a very healthy thing to do, and I think we all do it. <laughs> that being said, now I'm king fucking knobhead of this hotel because I'm the only fucking swat on his own. And I'm stood there like a fucking prick, and they're all looking at me going, oh my God, why would you be on, a, on your own in a couple's hotel? And they're all whispering to each other going, oh my God, I bet he cheated on his missus. I bet he cheated on his missus. Look at him, the fat knobhead, he's cheated on his missus, hasn't he? Look at that gauzy ginger prick, he's cheated on his missus, I bet you. Look, he's, oh, he's still come on the chip, he's fucking horrible, him, I hate him. I was fucking fuming, you know, and I, I, mean, I just grabbed my key, and I was like, I'm not fucking staying in here. I went and stuck my stuff in my room, and I smashed out the hotel, I thought I'm going to get pissed. Walked into this little village called Bone, started getting fucking smashed on my own like a tit. Got absolutely, mate, I started drinking lager, then I saw the fella drinking red wine, and for some reason I was like, I can be someone who drinks red wine, I'm gonna fucking reinvent myself. Because I was on my own. I thought that was, because I was like, can I have a Merlot, please? You got like a bottle of Merlot with a fucking fish bowl to drink it out. I was like, glug, 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 glug. ooh, that's cheeky. Ooh, glug, glug, glug. Mate, I was drinking it like it was lager, and that is not lager, mate. It fucking walloped me. I know I was sm- I, the only reason I know I was smashed is because there's a picture of me on the floor in Bowness from 6 30 pm that night, just fucking spark out, just like <laughs> just covered in chips and half a fish. Was like, <laughs> which is bad, but I was on my own. Who the fuck took that picture? <laughs> I woke up the next day in my room and I was like, <gasps> fucking, you know, when you panic, wake up and you're like, oh, fuck, what happened? And you're still in your clothes and you're all sweaty and you're like, oh, fucking hell. And I jumped out of the bed and I looked at myself in the middle and I had purple teeth in there. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, no, that was bad. That went wrong. That went wrong fast. I'm looking now for all my stuff. And the thing I was panicking about the most was, right, when I first got given this gift, as I said, she's got a track record of giving, give, of giving bad gifts. And I was like, I can't, I, I was like, oh, this is fucking shit again. But then I thought, you know what? I am going to make the most of it. This Tuesday, I was there the Monday night, there the Tuesday. And this Tuesday was going to be the only day in five years. There was no chance I was going to have to look after the kid. There was absolutely no possibility of it. So think about me that some of you all know, some of you might not know, that you should know, is that I quite like smoking weed. Right. I like it. I like it. Some of you might not like it. Some of you might like it. I don't give a fuck. But... Yeah. Yes, my brother. Legalize it. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, though, as, as I said, I've got to be up at like six o'clock every morning, so I can't really do it that much anymore because, especially the green, I can't like because that's not conducive to a weed. Any weeds, any regular weed smoker who's getting up at six o'clock in the morning is having half a joint that he left from last night and going straight back to fucking sleep, mate. I can't do that shit, so I've got to kind of leave. I've got to lay off it a little bit. But this, as I said, this day is gonna. It's the first day in, in, in years. There's, there's no chance I'm gonna have to look after the kids so forth. I'm gonna get myself a big fat fucking bag of green. I got myself new walking boots. I got myself one of those coats that folds up into its own hood. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get me fucking, I'm going to get me, I'm going to get me weed, I'm going to get me boots on, I'm going to get me coat, I'm going to walk, I was right on the edge of Lake Windermere. I thought, I'm going to get, I'm going to get me stuff, I'm going to walk, the, the edge of the lake's about where the edge of this, like, stage is as I got down to it, and I walked along, I walked along it about a mile, right, and I found, well, I, t- I have to, like, I need you to focus, because I need to explain what I found. I found this little cove, right, and it's just a little log, right, about that high. Just, just being felled for me. It was beautiful. It was like perfect, right? I sat on it. It was like there was even a little bum groove in it. I was like, ooh. It's like fucking Ikea had made it, right? <laughs> and what I could see was this, right? As I said, edge of, the sta- ed- edge of the lake is about where the edge of the stage is. Just about an inch deep, perfect crystal clear water, just lapping against the pebbles, just like. <laughs> just, two tr- just two trees just framing this shot, just like whistling in the breeze. <laughs> perfect blue sky. Sun, just cracking through the leaves on this side, just, just caressing me face. Ah. Four little ducks. Just playfully, wah, 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 wah. It was beautiful, it was magical, it was serene, it was perfect, it was so silent, it was, be- it was amazing. Got my skins out, I got my weed out, started rolling this joint. I put like half a bag of green in this joint because I thought I'm only here for a day and I've got, I've got a full bag of green. Eh? <laughs> Puts it in, starts rolling it up, I light it. As of, and as, because I hadn't smoked green for a while, it just hit me straight away, right? And it, as I said, it was already one of the most beautiful things I'd seen in a long time, but it was like someone put a fucking Instagram filter on it. It was amazing. It was like, <laughs> like the greens became b- greener, the blues became bluer, the fucking ducks became ducky, and it was mad. <laughs> I was just looking around going, ah. Oh. This is amazing. I had another pull of the joints and I was like, oh, I just felt so relaxed and so peaceful. I was just, I was like, oh my God, you know what, babe? I've been slagging it off because it's another shit gift, but you know what? You were right. I have made the most. I know she couldn't hear me, but I felt like I needed to tell her in the moment. <laughs> I was like, I'm so sorry for slagging it off all the time. I had another pull of the joints and I was like, oh, this is so good. I, was, I, don't, I don't ever want to leave this place. This is perfect. Oh, I had another, oh, that fourth pull, I was like, oh, 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 oh. Oh my God, I'm more stoned than I've ever been in my life. <laughs> and it just fucking hit me like a ton of bricks and I was like, ah! Ah! and the fucking trees just started trying. I was like, ah! oh my God. And the ducks was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And me le- I couldn't move my legs, but my legs were moving, right? And I was like, oh my God. And they were just sliding forward and I was like, who the fuck's moving my legs? And the lake's like there and I, I was like an inch deep, but I was convinced I was going to drown this lake. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to drown the lake. Oh my god. <gasps> oh shit, I'm gonna drown the lake. Oh please. Hey ducks, can you please get me out of this lake if I go in the lake, please? Please, I know I'm I know I'm big, but like there's fucking 40 and just get a corner each other sort of a fucksy. Just fucking use your brat. And then I got and then I got really I got guilty because I realised I'm this, I'm in this duck's house and it's fucking Tuesday morning. He's just trying to get the kids ready for school, do you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, my, oh mate, I'm so sorry about this. I'm a stay-at-home dad myself, you know, you're just trying to get the kids ready for school. I know it's how you can't find the flippers and shit, and I'm all over the fucking, I'm just fucking your morning. I'm not normally like this, mate. I've, just, I've had too much green. I don't normally smoke this, is what happened. And I've, sm- I've put too much in. I've been, a Billy, I've been Billy Big Bollocks, and I'm fucking... And then I had another pull of the joint to try and calm myself down. That was, that was a fucking terrible idea. Because my heart rate just went <laughs> And the thing, as I said, I quite like my gadgets. And I've got this, I've got this Apple Watch, right? An amazing feature of this Apple Watch is that if your heart rate goes over 140 and, and you're not active, your watch goes, hey, you're having a heart attack, you know? Which is an amazing feature if you're having a heart attack. It has saved lives. But if you're having a fucking panic attack because you smoke too much green next to Lake Windermere, it's a fucking terrible feature because you're like, oh my God, I'm having a fucking heart attack. I can feel it. I've got pins and needles. Oh my God. And my leg, I can't move my legs. I'm having a heart attack and I'm going to drown the lake. This is the worst fucking death. And no one's ever going to find me out here, you fucking stupid bitch. This is what you fucking wanted, isn't it? Why do you keep getting me shit gifts, you fucking nubbin? I used to smoke weed, like, 
It wasn't, I don't know what the fuck they're putting in this shit now, but when I used to smoke it, what happened was, me and my mates, like, me, the, the, me, me and five of my mates, and you'd throw a quid in each, right, and you go, you go to the dodgy fella by your house, and you'd buy a fucking five as, like, rocky fucking hash, like, fucking the thinnest little strip of rocky you could fucking slice off in Canny Farm, like, wow. Yes. Yes, my brothers and sisters. And you'd use the other part to go to fucking mobile by your house, the mobile shop. And you'd buy, you'd buy four loose ciggies and a packet of skins because they'd sell it to 12 year olds. And it was a fucking team building experience, mate, because you'd have to find like a windbreaker to go and build a joint behind. You'd find like, the, you'd go behind the flats like, and you'd be like that. And one of you'd be like holding it like this. Whoever had the smallest little dainty hands would be burning it in, like being dead conservative with it. Like. Everybody be like fucking sick burning in that. Whoever had the biggest Helly Hansen coat would be like that. <laughs> Providing cover. It fucking brought people together though. It was like you had to wait. It was like doing the fucking Duke of Edinburgh award, mate. <laughs> and you'd, you'd build it and you'd pass it round. You'd have a couple of pulls each, two pull pass, and you'd get a bit stoned. You'd talk some shit. You'd get sober again. You'd, 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 you'd do another one in half an hour and it was sample. This shit. I've never fucking known anything like I went up and I don't know what the fuck they're putting in it. I went up and down and up and down. My legs wouldn't work. I was, I was fucking like my heart rate was racing. I was, uh, and then a symptom I didn't even know we could do. Something I've never experienced from weed in my life. Something I've never even heard of, right? I became more horny than I have ever been <laughs> in my entire life. Like to the point where it was lucky my legs wouldn't work because if they could have, I'd have fucked the duck. I'd have been getting a fucking wing job at least. <laughs> I was so horny, it was to the point where as, as a full girl, a 36 year old man with two kids, I fully considered getting naked by Lake Windermere and having a wank. <laughs> I could fully considered it and I didn't do it, but it wasn't any moral consideration. I didn't come to my senses and go, come on, Paul, for fuck's sake, mate, you're a fucking grown man, you've got two kids, you're 36 years of age, you can't get naked by Lake Windermere and have a wank. Can't do it. It wasn't that. What it was, I, was, I, I couldn't move my legs, so I was trying to get my cacks off. <laughs> and I glanced up, and about, it must have been about a mile, mile and a half in the distance, just this little dot just made out, it was like a little house, and I was like, <gasps> Nah, there's someone watching me in that house, you know. <laughs> Donald. <laughs> hey, Donald, who lives in that house, lad? Are they looking at me? I feel like they're looking at me, you know. They're looking at me, aren't they? Why are you looking at me, lad? Have you ever been so stoned you try and zoom in with your own eyes? Look at me all you want, mate. I'll be able to fucking see you in a minute. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> 35 minutes I was there. And to be honest with you, I think I could... I, I might still be there to this day if it wasn't for the fact that adrenaline kicked in, fight or flight, because, and I shit you not, this happened, two Japanese tourists just happened upon me. <laughs> and for some reason, my legs just took that as a signal to go, <gasps> Leggy! And he fuck because my stone brain was convinced they were the police. <laughs> like that made total sense to me at the time. Like, of course the police aren't putting undercover Japanese tourists <laughs> on the coast of Lake Windermere at eight o'clock on a Tuesday morning to tackle the cannabis problem. <laughs> but that, it just made sense to me. I, made, I fucking legged it all, all the way back to, I legged it all the way back to the hotel. As I said, it was a lovely hotel. And it wasn't until I got to the big glass doors of the foyer, and I was like, I realized I still had the joint to me, and then I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. And I put it in my pocket, and I was like, oh my God, I can't go back in this hotel. I fucking stink of weed. Oh my God, I fucking, oh my God. You already think I'm a fucking weirdo. This is terrible. This. And I'm looking in the foyer, and I'm like, there's couples in the foyer, and I'm thinking, come on, just all fuck off so I can go to my room, please. I just need to go to my room, please. Just, and, but, the longer I was there, the more couples were just congregating and I'm just looking at them all going, why the fuck are you all here? Brenda told you about all the activities, go on a couple's walk, have a massage, go back to your room and shag, why are you all here? It makes no sense. What I hadn't considered was the fact that a six foot fat ginger lad pressing his face against the glass of the hotel. <laughs> just fucking stoned. Just, you all need to fuck off. I wanna go back to my room. That tends to attract the crowd. Now, I'd, I'd attracted every couple in the hotel. They're all stood in the foyer going, oh my God. I know he cheated on his bed and that, but I feel bad for him now. <laughs> it's 
I couldn't go back in the hotel. I couldn't go back in. I had to go back to my car in the car park, right? And just, I had to just sit in my car. Couldn't, couldn't drive anywhere. Just sit there with my hands on the steering wheel, just breathing. <laughs> just trying to calm myself down, just trying to get my heart rate down, just like, just listening to Smooth FM. <laughs> just like, now, I'm so in love with you. Whatever you want to do is all I need. <laughs> managed to calm down, managed to get my heart rate down. I was like, just managed to get my hands off the steering wheel. I was like, oh, okay. Al Green to calm me down. I was like, okay. Oh, we're all right, 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 we're all right. Oh, calm, oh, calm, oh, calm. Then I just had a wank in my car. I did. You know what? I did. And you know what? I'm not even embarrassed about it because it was one of the best wanks I have ever had in my entire life. It was fucking phenomenal. Like, I, like I'd been saving enough for a week. You know, like when you spit on your hand and that, and it makes that. <laughs> and it wasn't even like a functional wank. It wasn't even just like I was trying to get through it. I got fucking playful with that. Just I was like, switching grips halfway through. Look, like, little backhand. <laughs> little two fingers on the tip. Ooh, Paul, stop it. Cheeky bastard. Little play with my Gucci now. Oh, 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 oh. Slip a finger up the bum. Stop it, Paul. Don't even like that. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> 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 Fucking ruin my car. <laughs> I, had, I had proper wank come down as well. I was like, oh, When you start biting your lip and you're like, hmm. Mmm. Mmm. No, oh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh. Mmm. Oh, oh. 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 Just, just open my eyes slowly. It's like, oh, it's better. Oh. Oh. Just looked up, just let the world back in. Just like, <laughs> fucking Brenda stood outside my cow in there. <laughs> just, just fucking stood there though. I don't know how long she'd been there. Just watching me have a wank in my car, which I think makes her the fucking weirdo. And I won't lie to you, it was one of the lowest, most embarrassing moments of my entire life, but I think there's only so much embarrassment a human being can take before you push your lucky window down with your little finger that isn't covered in jizz and just go, <laughs> what, Brenda? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I was having a wank in my car because I cheated on me missus and I'm fucking lonely, mate. <laughs> what do you want, just fucking seagull and Brenda? What? Fucking Brenda storming away. I don't think that's very appropriate behaviour. <laughs> Fuck off, Brenda. <laughs> and I won't lie, like, in some perverted way, I felt like I'd won that. Like, I felt like I'd won, because I stood up for myself. I was like, well, employee, then fucking let you stood your ground there, me, you know what I mean? And then, for about a minute, I did that and until I realised that I can never go back in that hotel ever again. <laughs> like, you can't, can't, you, can, you can't style that shit out after half an hour. You can't just walk in half an hour later and go, <laughs> you're right, Brenda? <laughs> It's fucking mad that before, isn't it? <laughs> I know. I didn't get you. I'm, so, I'm fucking. I, I, I got carried away, but I'm so sorry. I fucking. It's honestly sent me the bill. I'll fucking clean that for you, mate. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can't do that shit. So I had to just go home. I had to just go home. I had to drive home a fucking day early. I had to wait to sober up. Drive home. Got home. I, oh, I mean, I was fucking fuming because it was just. It pissed me off. All the driving pissed me off. And I got in there and she's there with the kids and she's like, oh, what the fuck are you doing here? And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, God. All right. Oh, this is embarrassing. Um, 
Oh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I just missed you and the kids so much. <laughs> she ran over, she was like, oh, babe, that's so nice. You shouldn't have come back. I was like, I couldn't do it, babe. I couldn't stay away another day. I was just, I missed you so much. She was like, oh, that's so lovely. She gave me a big kiss and then I was like, she went, weird though, because a woman called Brenda phoned from the hotel. <laughs> and she said that you left in such a hurry after the incident in the car park that you left your luggage in your room. She's asked if you could go back and get it or they'd destroy it. And I was like, oh, fuck. So I had to drive back to the fucking lakes. Like a fucking knobhead. I was like, this is a fucking shit gift, this. <laughs> and I forgave her for that, Connor. <laughs> I let that shit go, mate. And still, 26 days on, she's not fucking talking to me, mate. <laughs> she's got a fucking cheek. 26 days ago, right? I'll tell you what happened, Connor, because I feel like we're fucking, I feel like you're on my side now. 26 days ago. And on this, right? I'm lying in bed, right? Having a little snooze. 5:58 a.m. Enjoying the last two minutes of sleep, right? A lovely time in my jungle bed. <laughs> House alarm goes off, mate. I've never heard it before. And she just went run, and I was like ah! and I fucking bailed out of bed, and I jumped up like a fucking Viking, mate, and I was like ah! And, but mate, I was bollock naked. I'm fucking bollock naked and I ran out and I fucking... Mate, how old are you, Colin, if you don't mind me asking? 18, mate, look at you, fucking all full of life and fucking shit. Like, have you ever ran naked? <laughs> no, never, not that you can remember. Oh, you'd fucking remember, mate. I don't mean like when you were a fucking toddler. Like, 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 I swear to God, I know you're enjoying the show and that, but like, there's a fucking promenade out there. If you fuck off now and get your fucking kit off, you'll get a fucking good two slides down that promenade before anyone stops you, mate. Fucking wind on your bollocks and that, you'll have a fucking lovely time, you know. You'll thank. Honestly, the last time I ran, the last time I ran naked, I was 21 on a beach in Ibiza, right? And I got stripped off, but I fucking you know what? I fucking loved it, mate. I was like a fucking gazelle. I was like. Because what you don't realise now is that your balls are like this, like little pit, little fucking beautiful little marbly fucking, like there's not even a fucking wrinkle in your nutsack, kind of just fucking beautiful little, just fucking gorgeous little fucking, like, like your pubes are like velvet, kind of just fucking, it's like a little fucking angora bunny, just like fucking, oh, I'd fucking love to rub your balls on my face, just fucking, oh. Not even in a sexual way, I just want to feel how soft they are. Because it just, it goes away, mate. It just, like, Chris will tell you, your balls are a fucking disgrace now, aren't they, Chris? <laughs> Santa's sack is not good anymore. <laughs> I'm, and I'm not slagging it on mine and they say, I, but you don't see it coming, do you, mate? Like, you just, no one, because women, it happens to women in the breast area, but they have bras, do you know what I mean? So they can gauge that shit happening over time. Whereas you don't, you'll never realise that shit until you wake up one morning because your fucking house alarm's going off and you jump out of bed, fucking bollock naked, ready to attack a burger, and you start running down the stairs and your balls go. <laughs> and you're like, <gasps> ah! It's like being kicked in the nuts a thousand times. It's the worst pain you will ever feel in your fucking life. I don't know how cavemen used to hunt. They must have had some fucking leathery balls or something. <laughs> fucking unreal pain, mate. And that's what I did. I found myself. I was, I, was, I was at the bottom of the stairs. I was done. I was fucking... I'd lost the fight already. I hadn't even seen the fucking burglar yet. I was like that. I was on the floor. I was alarm going off. I'm fucking disorientated. I'm, in, I'm incapacitated. And I'm panicking because, as I said, yeah, it's loud, this. And my lad's upstairs. He, he, as I said, he's autistic. He's going to freak out over this noise. So I'm going to turn off as quick as I can. Boop, 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 boop. And I'm fucking... I'm, I'm shouting up to her. What the fuck's going on? And she's like, someone's, da someone's downstairs, I heard someone down there. So, so I, so, someone's in the house, something set the alarm off. And I'm like, fucking, no. I'm just peeking around the kitchen door thinking, because me and the shit house had started coming out there. I was thinking, don't let anyone be here if they are. Just fucking take me telly, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> My fucking balls are killing me, just all fucking. <laughs> Trying to convince myself no one's there. Oh, that reality set in because I'm looking through the kitchen door, kitchen lights on, living room's dark, right? And as I'm looking through this kitchen door, I realise I always shut the kitchen door to stop the dog getting upstairs. And I'm looking through it and I'm thinking, fuck, someone's in the fucking house here. <laughs> like, that it became real. Like, and honestly, it is not like you've got to do something, haven't you? You've got, to, you've got a family upstairs, you've got to protect your family. So I'm stood there, I'm not a fighter, me. I'm just fucking, I'm trying to fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, what do we do? I'm trying, I'm trying to give myself martial arts training in the fucking hall. Just like... <laughs> Just, 
fucking balls are still slapping everyone. I'm like, fuck sake. And I try to slap myself and then I'm like, come on, psych yourself up here, kid, come on. Then, then I start trying to slap a little bit of blood into me, will he? Because you can't just run in and attack a burglar with a little just woke up six o'clock in the morning show. It's like, get out of my house! Can't do that shit, can you? You need to look intimidating. So I'm trying to get a little bit of blood into me. Which is a fucking delicate process because you don't want, like, you don't want to look scared, but you don't want to look too fucking happy either. Just like, ha 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 Just fucking willy ring on and that. Whoop. So I got there, mate. I got, I was all psyched up. I mean, I said, he had the sweet spot in the penis. I was like, fucking, it looked, it looked fleshy, but fucking flaccid, you know what I mean? Goes through my kitchen. I said, kitchen lights on, living room's pitch back dark. So we'll exit through my kitchen, right? And I get into the living room. I'm like this in case I get stabbed. I'm like, just wanted to get to my patio door. It's the only other way into my house, right? Rattles the patio door. It's locked. No, no breakages in the glass. Turns round. Telly's still there. I'm like, there's someone. F I'm fucking fuming. Then I'm like, there's no one fucking here. Storms back into the kitchen. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? There's nobody even fucking down here, nothing. She's like, what? I mean, there's no one fucking down here. What's going on? She was like, well, so, so, someone was, I heard someone down there. Something set the alarm off. And I was like, what the fuck? She went, what's going on? I'll tell you what was going on, right? As I said, right, my little lad, George, five, non-verbal autistic, he, he's got a safety gate, as I said, on his bedroom door. And the reason for that is, as I established, he's got sensory needs. And because of those sensory needs, sometimes, very rarely, he'll wake up in the night, and if he hasn't got the gate there, what he'll do is, he won't tell you he's awake, he'll go out into the house and he'll find sensory things to play with, like talcum powder or shampoo or his own shit, and... <laughs> he will smear that all over your fucking house, and he'll have a lovely time doing it, and you'll wake up, you'll wake up at six o'clock the next morning, and he'll be sat at the top of the stairs, with, and you'll have a house covered in shit, and he will have a face covered in shit, looking like a fucking pirate, just like, ha, 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 ha. I have had a great night. Now, um, clean this shit up and make me some toast. <laughs> so he's got a safety gate there to stop that happening, but the clever little fucking prick, right, has managed, like, the fucking, like, these gates work on tension, they push out against the door frame, so what he's done, like, the fucking fella breaking out of Shawshank, right, has just tapped it over and over again on one corner, just without his hearing, just every night, tap, 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 tap. To the point where it's just popped off on edge of the door frame, which just took the tension off the gate, made the gap, he squeezed through. Then he's done what he does every morning, which is to walk down the stairs, as I said, walk into the living room, sit in a spot on the couch where he sits every day, and just wait for his toast in the dark. <laughs> I know, it's sad as fuck then, isn't it? Just house alarm going off, just like. <laughs> then he sees me running bollock naked. It's like, that's not what daddy normally does. Anymore, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Then he sees me walk back into the kitchen and he gets excited then because when he sees me walk back into the kitchen, he thinks I'm going to make him his toast and he fucking loves toast. So when he gets excited, he does a thing, it's called self stimming So he start, they start bouncing up and down, he get on his tiptoes, he starts flapping his hands by his eyes and he starts shouting, he's like, ah, ah, like that. So I'm walking back to the kitchen, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? No one fucking down there. He's behind me, he goes, ah, ah, ah. He starts running at me. But I didn't know he was fucking there. So he starts going, ah, ah, and I was like, ah, fuck. <laughs> I fucking volleyed the meat. <laughs> I volleyed a five-year-old disabled child. <laughs> Square in the fucking chest, though. And it was a fucking good kick too, you know, Connor. He flew like he was in the fucking Matrix, mate. He was like, boom. And I was like, oh, shit. And I know, I know I shouldn't be saying that to a room full of fucking, like, thousands of strangers. It, statistically, one of you in here works for fucking child services or something. And I'm going to get a phone call on Monday. But to be honest with you, if you do, I feel like you should take him off me for that. That is some fucking terrible parent, isn't it? I was, God, mate, I was devastated. I was crying. I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. He jumped up like it was fucking not. He's solid as fuck. He just jumped up like it was a game. He ran back at me like he wanted me to do it again. <laughs> like, he was like, <laughs> I was like, no. 
I don't think I'm going to fucking prison for this. As I will go to prison. As I will go to prison. And I fucking knew it, you know. As I will go to Nick. And I've grabbed her. I'm crying my eyes. I'm like, baby, I'm so sorry. Please be all right. Please be all right. I'm so sorry. I'm just checking his ribs and then like, please be all right. Oh my god, baby. And he's just laughing his head off. I'm kissing his head. I'm like, oh my god, baby. All right, you're all right. You're okay. You're okay. And he's just laughing. I'm like, okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. I'm not going to prison. I'm not going to prison. We're all right. <laughs> then I realised I was kissing a kid naked at the semi. <laughs> And that's when she walked in. She hasn't spoke to me for 26 days. <laughs> ah. <sighs> you know what? I'm not gonna lie, this has been one of the fucking most unreal fucking experiences of my life. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I, I kind of want to fucking, like... <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you. Don't you fucking ruin this for me right now. Thank you all for, like, just coming out. I, before you go, I need to... I, I just indulge me for a minute, because this is the end of the tour, and I never thought I'd get a chance to do anything. I need to fucking thank some people for this, because, like, I need to thank... I need to thank Paul and Binti and Hot Water Comedy Club, because uh, without this, them, I wouldn't be any. Um, like, nothing at all. Uh, where's our calcium? Where's Callum? Is he here? Where's Callum? Is he fucked off already? He'd be fucking shagging his bear backstage, but yeah. Uh, I, I want to thank Callum because he's come round and he's done all the shows with me and stuff like that. He's fucking phenomenal. Um, I don't normally do things like this, but I want to. There's a, there's a girl in the audience called Ellen Houghton, and I just want to give, give her a big cheer because she beat cancer and she's a fucking legend, mate. Yes, yes, Ellen. I don't know where you are, but fucking well done, you. Um, and above all, I want to thank my lovely missus, who is actually here, and she's listened to all that shit. <laughs> she's actually... She's actually the nubbin who walked right across the front of the stage as the show started, cos she's a fucking helmet, right? But she puts up with so much shit off me and she lets me talk this shit about her and in reality she's a beautiful person and uh, she gave me the best two kids in the world. Um, I... I'm gonna go and get pissed now. We're gonna go to a bar called 53. Obviously, if everyone goes, you, most of you aren't gonna get in, but... <laughs> I'm gonna get in. Don't give a fuck. Uh, Connor's getting in. Uh, ooh, is that a skin? Skin then, it's confetti. That was a bastard, that. I'm doing fucking amazing. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck confetti come from. Fucking Rick Astley's confetti must have gone off a day early. <laughs> before you, just one last thing before you go, because all I can see, like, I, I know you're all here, but all I can see is kind of darkness. Before you go, just one last little indulgence. I know you're all edgy, edgy now, but if anyone's still left in here, right? <laughs> I could be talking to a fucking empty room. Uh, if anyone's still left in here, you can just get your phones out and just put your fucking flashes on and just fucking record a cheer for me, because I'll never... Oh, mate, that's fucking phenomenal. Just everyone do it. No, keep the house lights down. <laughs> that is fucking phenomenal. Just all film, right? Oh, mate. That's the most beautiful. Sing a song. <laughs> do you know what? I'll be honest with you, I slip a little... When I sing Al Green in the show, I'm shit at singing it, but that's mine and my missus' song, and I told her, I'm gonna slag it off, but I'll slip Al Green in for you. So, <laughs> love you, babe. <laughs> now, I'm so in love with you. Whatever you want me to is all right with me. Cause you make me... <laughs> I once, got, I once got karaoke turned off in Southport for that. Yeah. Um, just as you're all filming, if you could just all count to three and just give me the biggest cheer you possibly can just so I can remember it forever and then just all tag me on Instagram. Start your, Yes, one, two, three, cheer! <laughs> so beautiful. 
Thank you so much for indulging me. Go out, I hope you have a lovely weekend. I'll be back on tour next year. Go visit Hot Water Comedy Club and I'll see you all again soon. Good night, everyone. Whatever you want to do Is it all